What is going on, YouTube? Sci Guy 29 coming at you from the beautiful Cardboard Pub, where I drink a beer, show some cards, and we have a good time. Hopefully. I know I do. Hopefully you do, too. Um, damn this weather. <laughs> we'll start with the weather. I'm getting old. Uh, well, let's get the beer ready first, then I'll bitch about the weather. Uh, tonight's beer, another Iowa beer from Lions Bridge Brewing in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. We have Disaster at Mew. It's a porter, and as you can see down there, biscuity, chocolate, coffee. Uh, ABV, I don't know what it is. I don't know, but it's a good beer. I don't think I've had it. I know I've had other beers from this brewery on before, but uh, don't think I've ever had this particular beer. Uh, you know, I like my beers a little darker. Uh, this porter is very good. It does have uh, coffee up front to me, typically. Chocolate in the back end. Uh, just a good uh, light test for you there. Cheers. But the uh, weather, crazy. Last Thursday, we had parent-teacher conferences last Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, Wednesday and Thursday, Wednesday was in the 70s. Uh, Thursday started out in the 70s. I got to school at like 7.20 in the morning, and it was like 68 degrees, 72 degrees, somewhere in there. I came out after parent-teacher conferences, and it was 31 with a feels-like temperature of 7. I'm not ready for that yet. Um, but one of those things I can't control, so time to move on. It's a really good beer. Um, cards today. I'm not going to be as rushed today as last week. Uh, I was trying to get to a ball game last week. Uh, this week it's on Sunday, so don't have to rush. We just have a few vintage type cards to show. And some are Hall of Famers, some are not. Kind of a mixed bag of things. And we're going to start off with this 69 Don Sutton. Very off center, top to bottom. Absolutely marked up holder. Here we have the 55 tops. Uh, Carl Sawatsky. Uh, 58, Lloyd Merritt. Like that old Cardinals logo with the triangle. This is actually a newer card of an older player. Uh, and I've got several cards from this uh, set. Um, it's the SP Legendary uh, back card of Alvin Dark. So that's a little different than some of the others. Uh, here we have a Hostess card of a 78 Hostess of Joe Morgan. And followed up with a 72 home run leaders with paper missing of Johnny Bench and Dick Allen. So this is kind of a hodgepodge of, of cards. Here we have batting leaders from 75, so this is 76. A few guys on there you might recognize. Mr. Rod Carew, what did he hit? He only hit 359, which was 28 points higher than Fred Lynn. Thurman Munson also on there. Uh, here we have that same an RBI. Is that home run? Yep. So here we have the RBI. Same two guys. No paper loss on this one, just soft corners. Dick Allen rocking the great sideburns as always. We have the all-time home run leaders card at the time. So I, I just love that card. Three great players, and it says so much about where the game was. At that time, here we have a 72 batting leaders, so 73. Crew only hit 318 this year. You see Billy Williams though hit 333 for the Cubs. Uh, next, we'll go to the 69 National League home run leaders card. McCovey, Aaron, and 
Lee May. Another Joe Morgan. It's time for 69 tops. Those are going into the set that I'm building. Here we have a another one that I should have taken out before now, but I haven't. A little rich goose gossage action. The white socks there. Another one that I didn't take out. This is the Brooks Robinson. Looks like there's more than one in here. Huh. Didn't realize that. Okay. This is crazy. So we have the Brooks Robinson All-Star. Then we're going to follow it up with Tony Oliva. And Jim Cott. This one I'm thinking about getting sent off to get autographed. I think it's a good looking card to get signed. He still signs fairly reasonably priced. And uh, we got to go from there. But let's see. We'll start with this 70 Rui Aparicio. And the 70, or the 69 ERA leaders, Marichal Gibson and Carlton. Yeah, he, had a, he was a 2.10. Carlton, 2.17. Gibson, 2.18. See, there was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine guys that year with an ERA under 2.5. And see some of them there. A few names you might recognize. Here's another Brooks Robinson, Sporting News All Star. Not a real great looking back on that one. Got some scuffs on it. Here's Frank Robinson. Here's the Twins team card. And last but certainly not least, we have the Buck Belters. Willie Stargell and Don Clendenin. And that's what I got for this week. I hope everybody's doing great uh, as we uh, near the Thanksgiving holiday. Um, I don't have kids at school all of next week. This week we do uh, through Friday and then uh Next week, I've got work days Monday, Tuesday, and then a professional development Monday and Tuesday, and follow that up with uh, Wednesday as a day off. i uh, got some things going on, getting some food ready for the family um, on Thursday. So, hope all is well. Hope the weather's decent where you are, because kind of sucks here in Iowa right now. This is We're used to being cold, but uh, we're going to have highs later this week. Friday, they're talking high at 21, uh, so it's not warming up. I'm not sure about Iowa State games on Saturday. Uh, they host Texas Tech. Uh, we'll see how big of a fan I want to be. If the wind's not blowing, I'll probably end up going, but if the wind's blowing, I'm going to be a big giant pussy and stay home probably. So, Till next time, remember, like the sign says, collect what you love, love what you collect. Cheers. <laughs>